welcome back. So today, this is the video we're going to work on um, these guys. Okay, three little spout brushes. And I have, I have a log thing like this, but if you could find something, even cork or anything like that, that would really be helpful. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of, I don't even need a drill, but if you have a little tiny drill, that would work. But this wood is so soft, I'm just going to literally dig holes in here like this with my scissors. Scissor. And these are going to be where these are going to stick inside, okay? See what I mean? Like that. But we're going to secure it with glue. So there's three brushes, all three different heights. There's this size, this size, and the teeny little tiny one. So I want you to arrange them on your surface whatever way you want. So I'm going to do mine a little bit like that and then the one um, over there. Okay? So I've gone ahead and uh, stuck the tree, so-called trees, in my beef. And I put some glue in there so it would stay glue gun glue. And the hole that I made, the first hole that I made, where is it? Right there. That's okay because it's going to get covered up. The next thing we're going to be using is some reindeer moss. This stuff. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to glue it all over our base. Kind of like a snowy grass, I guess. And I'm using the glue gun. So I've glued my moss all around. And then for the top of the trees, you know, I didn't want them to have that little white thing that makes them look like they are a spout cleaner. So I put, I cut up some garland pieces here and then just kind of made a sort of a makeshift looking starry thing. So I'm just going to put one on this last one. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is spray the whole thing with some artificial snow. So far we are looking like this. So now I'm going to add some embellishments on our moss. And I've got this kind of I don't even know, beaded gold branchy thing. And I'm just going to weave it all around there before I spray with the snow. So here is that branchy stuff. Just, you know, interspersed, hanging over a little bit. Kind of like it's in a garden or a forest. So the next thing I'm going to do now is spray it with the snow. So here's our little tree home decor just to sit out in the house somewhere, give us a hostess gift, and uh, embellish it however you want to. I just thought it was such a cute use of those little scrubbers, such a cute way to turn them into little trees. So this one, I did some gold beads on top, little bulbs. And on this one, you saw me do the, the little branch thing. But I think they are so pretty. So I hope you guys give these a try. And for those of you leaving right now, thank you so much for watching. And those of you who want to continue on with our meditation breathing session, stay tuned. Bye for now. Hi everyone. We're going to do something a little different than our normal breathing meditation. We're going to create a Yule blessing, which is just a little candle setting that can help prepare us and calm us for upcoming 
the holidays and all the stress that comes with the holidays. And just a reminder for you to have a wonderful, happy time during these next few weeks. As we know, it is the winter solstice coming up, which is the darkest of dark days. But after that comes the light. What you can see me doing here is mixing up in my mortar and pestle some salt. I always use pink Himalayan salt, some cinnamon, some cloves, and some orange rind. The uh, orange is symbolic of joy and energy, and the salt is for spiritual and energetic protection. The cinnamon is for warmth and happiness. And you'll also need a small red votive candle. I find that the ritual of creating these lovely things for your home is just as therapeutic sometimes as a nice relaxing meditation. So you can see me really grinding all this stuff in. And I believe I said clothes. As clothes are um, to represent something that you really want to attract this season. And you can see there I also added frankincense just to enhance the smell of your little candle setting. So blend in all of those beautiful Christmas smells. I use clove oil as well as ground clove in with my mixture. And then I really ground it in with my mortar and pestle. Once that's all mixed in really well, um, take an orange. I'd also have a piece of just piece of wood that I'm going to use to sit this on, but you could sit it on a dish or a plate and clean out all of the inside of your one orange. And that's where you're going to place your votive candle. Once my orange was all cleaned out, I, uh, I used a votive that had a, still had the glass in it, which I found was a lot safer. And then I cut the bottom off of the orange so it would sit flat. I always find that people are a little leery of doing so-called rituals, but ritual is just something that you do repetitively, much like we have the ritual of singing happy birthday on birthdays, the same type of wedding ceremonies, and you get it. So now we're going to take our yummy oh, aromatic salt mixture and place it all around that votive candle and pack it down inside the empty orange there. And it smells so lovely and breathe in those beautiful smells and let the aroma relax you and help you focus on looking forward to the wonderful times during the holidays and not so much of the stress that comes along with Christmas. So that's how it should look. I've created a mound with the remaining salt. So we used about half in the orange and then the rest I'm making a little mound for the orange to sit on and just make sure it's very, very safe and in a safe place. You're going to add some cinnamon pieces up at the top near the votive and it will help kind of secure it and also add the more enhancing properties of the cinnamon. You can add them around the base too if you would like to. So there it is all finished. And 
remember to light your candle each day as you spend time, some time relaxing or in quiet meditation and always blow your candle out when you leave the area it's in.